us an update on budget talks. You've been meeting with the speaker, is what I've heard. Staff uh, have been meeting, comparing our budget to their house budget, and they've had preliminary talks. I think the uh, appropriations chairmen have also met. I met with the speaker today, and I we uh, scheduled meeting tomorrow to start uh, talking about how we can come out with, a, with an agreed bill. To start? At the house, the, the staff will be finished comparing the two budgets by tomorrow, so then we can start negotiating how we can come up with a, an agreed budget, and hopefully we can get the Republicans in the Senate to help as are well, because the Republicans in the House are involved. Are, are you going to the House for everything number? Is the Senate I think that's, what we're, that's, what we're, uh, that's what the goal is. I think we can do that. And where are you looking to make cuts? I mean, that's a billion dollars well, that's, difference. That's, that's, that's what's that's, to be discussed. That's what we're going to be negotiating. Why move down to that number after you'd been so adamant about the projections? Well, the, the, we really believe that we'll have the extra revenue. The, the speaker would acknowledge that as well, I think. I think the goal is that he wanted to see if we can uh, spend less, of course, but then also see if we can pay, pay off some bills. And that's, of course, what we're also trying to do. So we want to make sure that we, we keep cut down on the amount of money that would lapse into next year, for example. That would be a good goal. So I think we're going to have a very positive experience here. I, think we're going to have, I know we're going to have a balanced budget. We've, we've already, each chamber has passed the balanced budget. So this is just a matter of how much more we can save and pay down of our existing debt. When are you, you making to have a floor vote, uh, President? I'm sorry? When do you expect to have a floor vote on, on a budget? Do you have any idea? Well, it depends on how long it takes to negotiate. It takes a couple of days to draft it. So uh, probably uh, over the weekend. Instead of negotiations with the governor and the four tops, this time around we're going to see negotiations between you and the speaker? Well, we've talked to the governor as well. We're giving mm -hmm. input with the governor. We've met with the governor, and we're working with his agencies on his priorities as well. Do you, what about, do oh, you foresee sitting down with uh, the governor and oh, all four lead, all four leaders at some point? I hope so. I hope, I hope the, uh, I was encouraged earlier by the Republicans' plan in the Senate to actually cut the budget, but then they didn't offer a budget. So we have nothing to sit down with them on. And, uh, on the other hand, contrast that with the House, uh, Republicans have sat down and helped cut an extra billion dollars out of the budget, so they should be uh, commended. When do you expect to have a uh, congressional map available? I would hope we can do that. Uh, we've been working on the state map. There's still amendments that have been proposed, and I think once we have the uh, state map amendments offered, which hopefully will be tomorrow, uh, we could have the congressional map after that. If the congressional map is only 18 districts, the ours is 177, so the, it doesn't the take as long. House executive passed out uh, Representative Bradley's bill to essentially blow up workman's comp. Where do you see that going? I think we're really close to an agreement on workers' comp. An agreement on workers' comp among a number of the stakeholders. So going there won't be necessary. That's correct. Will there be enough? time, do you think, for the public to get a fair look at the congressional map before you vote on it? Oh, yes. Uh, especially compared to what happened 10 years ago. Uh, I invite you to go back and look at the transcript of uh, the debate. It was very uh, uh, disappointing because, you know, we had all our congressmen that cut a deal and came to us and said, here, vote for this. And I know Senator Obama voted no and gave a very strong speech against it. That's going to be uh, totally uh, not the case here. We're, we're we're going to have transparency. You guys saw what we did on our website with regard to our state eight, um, uh, maps. I think 26,000 people now have had 26,000 hits on that. We'll try to do the same thing for the congressional map. How did, much time do you envision between introduction well, and vote? It doesn't take as much time to look at 18 districts as it does to look at 107, uh, 177. So uh, I think that you know the public will have plenty of time to come and testify, and we'll have uh, a lot of. Uh, the similar type of support that we'll have for our map, hopefully, will be for the congressional. When do, you think, when do you think there will be a vote on the borrowing that Senator Sullivan sponsoring that came out of committee? Well, right. it requires a three-fifths vote, so I hope that we can get some Republican votes. So that'll take some time. <laughs> You're making some changes for Latino districts. Uh, there's amendments that have been offered uh, by a number of folks, and the Republicans can offer amendments too. I don't know where their map is. I think maybe their map might be being worked on by the same guy in the reference bureau that's working on their budget, and you, they just don't have it done. Do you expect to be able to increase the number of Latino districts from your original proposal? Um, that's still being worked on. 